We've been given special permission to search this mountain road here in Borneo for one of the rarest and most undocumented snakes on the planet. The Malcolm's Pit Viper is not only mysterious, but no one's ever filmed a fully grown adult and no one really knows the full effects of its toxic venom. If we find this colorful viper, this will be one of the very first times it's ever been filmed in 4K. Let's go. People come out here for years and not find one of these snakes. This is a super, super rare species. Even if you don't like snakes, I will bet you that if when you see this one, we'll make a snake lover out of you. What was that? Is it? Got it. That is not a Malcolm's Pit Viper. Got it. We have a Saba Pit Viper here. She's a little feistier than I originally thought. Oh, she's not happy. We woke her up. Let's back up. Let's give her some more space, guys. We've got to give her a clear area. She's warranted to be a little cranky with us. Clearly, we took the snake out of its tree, out of its perch. This is an absolutely gorgeous pit viper. Look at it giving us that nice tail whip right there. Most vipers got heat sensing pits. She's looking right at me. She knows that I am the threat. So I'm gonna just turn this way. Oh, beautiful pose. Look at that S curve, perfect strike position. Look at how stunning her coloration is. Bright green, those red eyes are specific to the Saba vipers that you will find here on Kinabalu. And this is what Kinabalu is known for. It's beautiful species of tropical snakes. Some of the most colorful snakes in the world can only be found here on this mountain. Okay, and she's off. And so are we. Let's keep searching, guys. Finding an adult Malcolm's Pit Viper won't be easy. They're more dangerous, more rare, and much larger than the Saba Pit Viper. This is the first snake that we have seen out here in Kinabalu. We have been looking for snakes all night. We're pulling out all the stops. We've got some of the best experts out searching with us tonight. We need as many eyes looking into this forest as possible. These are super elusive and camouflage snakes. One that people travel from all over the world to find. Hey, Lockie, have you ever seen a Malcolm's Pit Viper before? Never. With the help of Lockie Gilding, our regional reptile expert, we will hopefully track down this mythical snake and avoid its mysterious venom, which we know is super toxic. Got a tiny little gecko here. Ow, ow, he bit me. Calm down, buddy. This is a curved toed gecko. They're called a curved toed gecko because look at the claws there. The feet are almost like hooks. Beautiful banded tail, beautiful cryptic patterning on the back. It's almost like a leopard. See that? Cool bands along the face. Take a peep at that eye. Geckos have the coolest eyes. Fun fact about geckos, they do not have eyelids, so they actually have to lick their eyeballs to keep them moist. We were to stay here long enough with this gecko, and he was gonna stop biting me. Look, he's biting me there. Come on, dude. Ah, am I being so mean? I know I disturb you, but dang, this guy's just laying into me. Got a good, okay. Well, that's one way to make friends, huh? That's how we do it. Are you kidding me? He's a grumpy gecko. Seriously, look at this. Just biting the living daylights out of my finger. Well, this is a good way to see a gecko. It's not really how I wanted this to go. You know, sometimes you take the opportunities that present themselves. I'm gonna put this gecko back where we found it. See you later, grumpy. With all these reptiles out on the prowl, I like our odds at finding one of these Malcolm Pit Vipers. They are one of the hardest snakes to find in all of Asia, being only found here on this mountain range and they like it when it's wet. He's got to time it to perfection where you have the perfect temperature, humidity. If the moon's too bright, the snakes don't get active. You need to nail it all in order to even have a chance of finding these guys. Oh, oh my God. It's like a bat. Oh. It's on me. I got it. That's a cicada. All the things screeching and screaming out here in the rainforest. This is what's doing it. They vibrate this uh, back plate. That's what makes it go. Look at those wings. Totally translucent. You wanna see a flyaway? Ooh. Oh! Ace, it's oh. on you! Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. ah. Clearly the wildlife is out and about tonight, and the weather conditions are ah. really looking good. I'm feeling lucky about finding the rare Malcolm Fit Viper. When you're out, searching the forest at night. One of the things that we're looking for is eye shine. Well, what do we got, Mark? This is a horn frog. Gently pick him up. Be cool, they'll be cool. So this is a Kobayashi horn frog. Now I've noticed a lot of the frogs here in Kinabalu, they don't have a flight response. You can kind of just casually go up and pick them up with your hand. Frogs I'm used to catching, you have to like grab them because they're gonna jump away. These frogs you can just casually pick up 
which is kind of nice. Get a chance to appreciate horn frogs like this one. There we go. Now you can really see them standing proud and tall. See those two horns right above the eye? That's why it's called a horn frog. It's puffing up right now as a defense display to make itself bigger. I actually think it makes it look pretty cool. This one is looking like the leaf litter here. See that leaf? And there's many horn frogs all around the world, but this Kobayashi horn frog is endemic to Kinabalu. This one can only be found here at this park. So this is truly a rare sight in a creature I have never seen before. So it's always cool to find a new species. And I got a grumpy face, I won't lie. Not a very happy looking frog. Let's keep searching. Oh, whoa. Guys, look at that. This gecko munching on a cicada. Looks like a cicada that just molted because it, its wings aren't really there. So yeah, this cicada probably was just like coming up out of its shell, probably perched there, drying out its wings. This gecko pounced it. That's a big meal for a gecko that size, but that's the same gecko species that just munched on my finger. You know, even though it wasn't able to break skin, they can, they can chomp. We're not gonna disturb it. We're gonna let that gecko have its midnight snack. Lizards will hunt. And they aren't the only ones. It's meal time out here. This is the moment where we really might stand to find the creature we're after. You never go into snake territory without a snake hook. And it really helps when you have experts on your team to help you find stuff. After searching for hours on end, nearly two whole nights of nonstop scouring, everything was about to change. What we got, Mark? Snake. Snake right there, guys. <gasps> it's the Malcolms. That's the one. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Good spot, man. Why did you the reach tonight? But that's it, guys. Oh my goodness. We got one. This is a really good snake. Let me get the snake hook all the way out. Oh man. <laughs> now I gotta be careful because it may just slink down. Here, buddy. Let's see if I can get it to start crawling this way. All right, watch out, guys. Perfect. Hi, buddy. Oh my goodness. That is it, guys. I cannot believe we got one. <laughs> there it is. This is the snake that we were after. It is a pit viper, guys. It's a heat sensing snake, so it's gonna be looking at me a lot, but I'm gonna try to get it to face the cameras because came all this way, I want you guys to see the snake. We do not want to get bit by this snake. There can be no complacency with an unknown outcome like this. We have no idea what would happen if anyone were to be bit by this snake. We have not been able to find any record of a bite, so the effects of the venom are completely unknown to us. All we do know is that it would be a very serious bite and we'd be going straight to the hospital. And even with that, it could be a very dicey situation in terms of what would inevitably happen to you. Well, see that? You'd be really at the mercy of the medical professionals here in Borneo to potentially save your life. It could be a deadly snake bite with this one. We're not gonna push our luck with this. Oh, see? What a gorgeous, gorgeous tropical pit viper. This isn't a boreal species, that's why it was. Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't worry, don't worry. He's just being a little active. Here we go. Here we go. All right, that's, that's good. This is a snake we hiked all the way up here for. This is why we traveled over 40 hours by airplane to this country. When it comes to snakes and the history of brave wilderness and filming our videos, this is the rarest snake that I have ever found by a landslide. And we're gonna try to capture some of the highest quality footage ever filmed of this species. What you're looking at right there, guys, is definitely a first. The scale pattern of this species. I mean, the face has these really pronounced scales they almost look holographic. The coloration just jumps right off the skin and it goes from a dark green to a lime green and then the black between the scales. I think the head of the snake is almost unparalleled in how cool it looks. And look at those black eyes, super intimidating tiger stripes. It looks like someone illustrated this snake, guys. I, I can't believe what I'm looking at. Andrew, have you ever seen a snake like this in your life? I haven't. It is stunning. It has a captivating quality. It really does, and it's almost, I mean, it's it's mesmerizing. Oh, oh, striking at me. Striking at me. Don't worry, buddy. And then, of course, you've got the red tip on the tail that it uses as a warning flag. This snake becomes threatened it's going to wiggle this red tail, warning, I'm toxic. 
you're gonna take a bite if you get any closer. See, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. The fangs are coming out. What we're looking at here is likely an adult male. The females of this pit viper can grow five to six feet in length. I would say that this male, approaching two and a half feet. If there's a cooler snake out there to find, I wanna know. I'm curious, everyone watching, tell me in the comments, because I wanna go find that snake too, but in terms of all of my wildlife adventures, I have never seen any snake this beautiful. Certainly not this rare. We were going for hours at a time without seeing a thing, let alone a snake. I cannot believe this snake actually exists, and I certainly am in shock that it's right here in front of us, that we actually found it. It is the coolest snake too. It's stunning. The coloration, unbeatable. The crown jewel of reptiles here at Mount Kinabalu in Borneo. Bam, we got it. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, guys, we're gonna set this snake up for some photographs. Who knows if we'll ever see one again. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.